frick. <laughs> Man, this thing's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, this is my uh, Crazy Card XL. I, uh, I've been waiting for one of these to go for sale on Kijiji for a while. And for those of you who don't know what Kijiji is, it's basically the Craigslist of Canada. So the plan is to uh, take the small motor that's in here now out and replace it with something crazy. I mean, things already crazy, but I'm going to try and make it even more crazy. All right, so the main goal here is to replace the existing 500 watt motor with this 1600 watt motor. And it looks like I may have just enough room to make this work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the plastic covers and see what I have to work with. After removing the cover, I quickly realized that this task wasn't going to be as easy as I had planned. I knew that I would need to redesign the front fork in order to make room for the new motor. I started by cutting out a section of the fork and this allowed me to bolt the motor into place. From there, I designed a new support plate in Fusion 360. I took this design to a local water jet service and got the support plate cut out of quarter inch steel. After the welding, I gave the fork a fresh new paint job and then reinstalled the motor and other components. I also upsized the original 9 tooth sprocket to an 11 tooth sprocket. Alright, so the front end is all complete and it is looking very nice. So the original idea here was to have the new motor fit within the original plastic covers, but now that I'm looking at it, I realize that it looks much cooler without them, so I'm not even going to bother with those anymore. So the next thing I need to do is build the new battery and install the new speed controller. But before I jump into that, I have a quick message from today's sponsor. This video has been sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Why do you need a VPN and what does it stand for? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And it allows you to create a safe and encrypted connection over a less secure network, such as public Wi-Fi. For example, if you want to stay secure while using public or hotel Wi-Fi, you definitely need to encrypt your data with a VPN. Imagine you're at a local coffee shop and you're connected to their local Wi-Fi. You're in the middle of doing some very important tasks on the computer. You're just doing your online banking and suddenly your computer gets hacked. You suddenly get sweaty and begin to panic. You feel you have no choice but to just destroy your laptop. If only he had Surfshark VPN to protect him in the open waters of today's internet. Get Surfshark VPN today by clicking the link in the video description and entering promo code AUSTIN for 83% off and one extra month free. All right, now back to the build. The battery will be made up of Sony VTC5 cells. These cells have a continuous current rating of 20 amps and a capacity of 2600 milliamp hours. The battery will be assembled in a 13S 7P configuration. I purchased a couple hundred of these battery caps on AliExpress and started by assembling them together. Once that was finished, I placed the cells into the caps, alternating each parallel group from positive to negative. Before doing this, I made sure to charge up all of the cells to the same voltage. I ended up finding a homemade spot welder for sale that a man local to me had built. It was a great price, so I decided to give it a go. The welder seemed to be doing a pretty good job, so I continued on and welded the entire battery together. Shortly after I was finished, I realized that this was a huge mistake. It was actually a complete nightmare. The welds appeared to be alright, but after testing the strength of the welds, I realized that almost all of the welds did not penetrate enough, and I had to remove all of the nickel. I ended up destroying a couple cells in the process, and just created a big mess. After doing some research, I'd come across the K-Weld Spot Welder Kit, so I ordered one, and let me tell you, this is a quality spot welder. Anyways, it was time for me to try this again. This time around I'd be using these insulator rings on the positive side of each cell. I went ahead and welded two layers of nickel onto the cells and this time around had no issues. All I had to do now is install the BMS, the fuse, and the battery cables.
I also designed and 3D printed this enclosure to hold everything together and to make this battery extra durable. Now that the new battery is done, I can ditch the old 36 volt lead acid pack and remove the original speed controller. I'll be replacing the 36 volt 500 watt controller with a 48 volt 1500 watt controller. In order to make room for the new battery, I had to cut out part of the original bracket. Once that was done, I touched up the area with paint, fastened the new controller in place, and then wired everything up. I ended up 3D printing some new brackets to hold the battery tightly in place and prevent it from bouncing or sliding around. Last but not least, I had to replace the rear caster wheels because they literally get torn to shreds if you're not riding on a perfectly smooth surface. Yeah, this wheel just uh, kind of exploded. And that's it, this thing is all ready to go. This crazy cart now has three times the power that it originally had. Not only that, but it also has slightly different gearing and is more lightweight. If you wanna see this thing in action and watch me do some stupid stunts, you do not have to wait and you can watch that video right now. I also wanted to mention that you should definitely stay tuned for my next video because it's going to be the most exciting project yet and I don't want you to miss it. I'll probably post a sneak peek on my Instagram or the community page sometime soon. But in the meantime, go watch the video of me riding this thing. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. VPN stands for virtual... <laughs> VPN stands for virtual private network. <laughs> VPN stands for virtual private network. And it allows you... VPN stands for virtual private network. And it allows you to create a... <laughs> Why do you need a VPN and what does it... Oh, <laughs> That was probably Jesse's fault. <laughs>